sometimes it can be really interesting the way things come together that maybe you thought wouldn't come together and you realize that a lot of things you've done previously there was a kind of a purpose to it it was heading somewhere if you've been following our music over the years we've always had a great interest in the Middle East and Central Asia Macam based music so your, your Arabic music with its scale system and the Turkish equivalent and so on and we've explored that and it's really really interesting in some of my musical life quite apart from Secret Archives of the Vatican and Thousand Yard Prayer I did play in a traditional folk band for quite a few years in the first half of the 90s I was never very technically good on instruments but that kind of folky thing has always been there in my background and I've always loved medieval music and one or two early Secret Archives releases had our very pathetic take on some traditional medieval tunes in there but it's an area we kind of let go I never felt I knew what the hell I was doing just recently like a lot of people I've been discovering the kind of semi-pagan Norse folk music of bands like Eldream and Wadruna and Germanic things like Heilung, very very ritual folky mayhem and I've been quite taken by it and I've really wanted to bring some of that into what we do with Secret Archives and it's just been really difficult figuring out how do we do that without completely changing who we are and what we do so just recently I did a couple of tracks, one called Miklagard and one called Ververangian. And in both of those I was trying to join the Norse with the Eastern Mediterranean and the Middle East. So I had Norse rhythms and I brought in our favourite Arabic mode, Turkish mode, which is Makam Hijaz in the melodic side of, of the tracks and it seemed to work, it was okay. So today I got online and I was trying to find anything about the music theory behind Norwegian Danish Viking music and there's not a lot that's genuinely historical and there's a bit of controversy. What I came across from more than one source when people were asking what scales to use they were talking about using the harmonic minor scale and by incredible coincidence the Hijaz scale that we like from Arabic music is one of the modes of the Western harmonic minor scale no wonder it fits it's the same set of notes and suddenly I've got that connection between the music we've been doing for years and some of the areas we want to explore now there's one two other modes that are used in this folk music as well but once again I think they've probably got their equivalents or almost equivalents in Middle East music. I came across one or two sources that suggested there was even an Arab influence on some of that Norse music even back in the day. It's a little bit vague in the historical records but hey. So it looks like it's going to be less of an effort than I perhaps thought to bring the different musical traditions that I'm interested in together. As ever it won't come out sounding like any of those anyway it'll come out sounding like us but I am uh, I'm quite encouraged I've got to say in that there's a direction for us to, to travel in with our next batch of tracks so watch this space.